Okay, this exercise 11.4, question 10, homework problems. Um, find the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum of the parabola x squared equals minus 8y, and what is the length of the lattice rectum? First thing, the only information we seem to be given is the parabola x squared equals minus 8y. Now this is of the type x squared equals minus 4ay. We know that because of the negative sign in front of the 8. So comparing both of these equations, x squared are the same, the equals are the same, the minuses are the same, the y's are the same. Therefore, the 4a bit is equal to 8. So therefore, our focal length a is 2. Now what we're going to do, we need to sketch this parabola. Because it's the x squared equals minus 8y type, it means that it's concave down with vertex 0, 0. So we now know that the parabola is concave down and that the focal length is 2. And so therefore, in other words, the distance from the vertex to the focus is 2 units. Therefore, the coordinates of the of the focus will be 0, negative 2. Now the lattice rectum is the line that is parallel or perpendicular, sorry, to the axis of the parabola, but it's also parallel to, say, the directrix. So the lattice rectum goes across from there to there. Okay, now we know that anywhere along this line that um, because the coordinate of this focus here is 0, negative 2, we know that this point here is some x value, negative 2, and we know that this point over here is a, some other x value also, and the y value is negative 2. Now, we need to work out what these x values are. So we know that the parabola is x squared equals minus 8y. We know at this particular point here, and this particular point here, which are the endpoints of the lattice rectum, that the y value of those two points is negative 2. So what we're going to do, we're going to substitute y equals negative 2 into our equation x squared equals minus 8y. So this becomes x squared equals minus 8 times minus 2, or negative 8 times negative 2, which is positive 16. So we've got that x squared is positive 16. Now that means that x is plus or minus the square root of 16, which is plus or minus 4. So therefore the endpoints of that lattice rectum will be, this one will be um, 4, negative 2, because we know that x can be 4 or negative 4. This obviously is 4 across um, and 2 units down, and this point here will be negative 4, negative 2. So endpoints are 4, negative 2, and negative 4, negative 2. So that means, if I just put these here, negative 4, negative 2, and 4, 2, we know that the lattice rectum goes from there to there. In other words, it goes from negative 4 to positive 4 on with the x values, therefore the length of the lattice rectum I'll just, um, is 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4 units, which is 8 units long. Now we also know, and we were given the formula, that the length of the lattice rectum is 4a, and 4 times 2 is 8, so that obviously um, works as well. But you should really do it by proving. If you're stuck, I suppose you can give the length of the lattice rectum being 8, but you still need to find the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. The only way you can do that is by drawing it, knowing that the y value is negative 2, and therefore you need to work out the x values. Um, exercise 11.4 again. Question 11, it's a homework problem. Now people have asked for part C, but I'll need to quickly do parts A and B for you to be able to do this question. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick sketch of the parabola so that you can get an understanding of the question. Now we're told that the equation of the lattice rectum is given by y equals negative 3. Now that's not the directrix, it's the lattice rectum. Remember the lattice rectum actually passes through the focus, so the parabola must look like this. If the equation of the lattice rectum is y equals negative 3, remember it passes through the focus, then the focus is 0, negative 3, which means that the focal length there, that's the focal length distance from the vertex to the, to the, to the focus, is 3 units, so therefore a is 3. Now we know it's a concave down type parabola, parabola so this is part a. So the parabola is of the type x squared equals minus 4ay. And we can see here that um, oh, also we know that the axis of the parabola is x equals 0, which is the y-axis, which is OK. The vertex is 0, 0, which we've drawn. 
So the equation of the parabola is the x squared equals minus 4a y type, which is x squared equals minus 4 times 3. Now a is the focal length, and the focal length is 3, even though the focus is at 0, negative 3. a is the length, it's the focal length. Remember, that's always positive. We can see we've got a concave down parabola. So it's negative 4 times 3y. So the equation of the parabola is x squared equals minus 12y. Now that's part A. Part B, the equation of the directrix, remember that the vertex is always halfway between the focal, the focus and the directrix. The directrix will be up here. And the equation of the directrix will be three units up from the vertex, which is y equals 3. Okay, so that's the equation of the directrix. Now for part C, I'm going to do part C. I'm going to start it over here. Now, and I'll just use some room down here as well. Now, in part C, you have to find the length of the focal cord that meets the parabola at 2. So 2, negative a third. So I'm just estimating roughly and saying that this is the point 2, negative third here. So the focal cord passes through the focus, okay? And if this is the point 2, negative a third, now this is not drawn accurately, okay? All I know is that the focal cord passes through the points 2, negative a third and the point 0, negative 3. So that means I could find the equation of the focal cord. Once I know the equation of the focal cord, I can find this endpoint here. Now I'm going to call this endpoint here point P, I'm going to call this one over here point Q. So if I find the equation of the line between P and the focus, and I'll need that, remember to find the equation of the chord, I need two points on the chord and I do have two points. So of course to find the equation of a line, you need the point gradient formula. We can work out the gradient between these two points and we've got a point so we can find the equation of this line. Then we can find the coordinates of Q. Remember P Q, the chord PQ cuts the parabola. So to find this point, we'll solve the equation of the focal chord with the equation of the parabola to find the coordinates of point Q. And once you've found the coordinates of point Q, you can find and you'll have an XY value there for Q. You'll be able to use the distance formula to find the length of PQ. So finding the length of the focal chord, let's find the equation of the focal chord first. So we've got the points 2, negative a third and the focus is zero negative three so they're my two points i'm going to find the equation of the line that passes through those two points so the gradient let's find the gradient first and it would be negative three minus negative a third which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is zero minus two and that is negative three plus a third is negative two and two thirds divided by negative 2 um, and you can do that on your calculator or you can work it out and it would be negative 8 on 3 divided by negative 2 or times negative a half and you would get a negative times a negative with positive you get 4 over 3 okay so that's the gradient of the line joining the points 2 negative a third and 0 negative 3 now we want the equation of the focal chord equation of the focal chord Again, if it's the equation of a line, and you'll use the um, point gradient formula, which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Let's use the point 0, negative 3, because it's easier to use. So we'll get y minus negative 3 equals the gradient, which is 4 over 3, x minus 0. And simplifying that, we get that y plus 3 equals 4 over 3, x. Now we need to get rid of this divide by x here, sorry, divide by 3. So multiplying both sides of the equation by 3, we'll get 3 bracket y plus 3 equals 4x, or 3y plus 9 equals 4x. So therefore the equation of the, um, of the focal chord is 4x minus 3y minus 9 equals 0. What I really could have done actually, I could have left it in the y equals mx plus b format and I might just write that down here actually. So you can do a general form but the thing is I'm going to put it in the y equals mx plus b form because, so I probably shouldn't have done that, because I want to solve two equations simultaneously 
And the equations that I want to solve simultaneously, so I've got um, the, the equation of this line, but because I know that this chord or line pass cuts through the parabola at two points, if I solve the equation of the parabola simultaneously with the equation of the focal chord, then I'll get this both points of intersection. So I want to solve x squared equals minus 12y and this format of the um, focal chord, y equals 4 over 3x minus 3 simultaneously. And that will give me the two points of intersection. So these two points of intersection. Now I've already got one of them, so I'm going to ignore the x equals 2 solution, but I need to see the x value for this solution. It's probably going to be negative 5, negative 6 or something like that. Okay, so we'll just keep going. Might be a minute. Okay, so just I'll just um, get a new page. Um, x squared equals minus 12y and y equals 4 and 3x minus 3 simultaneously. So I'm going to sub, sorry, I'll just do it down here. Sub y equals, sorry, um, 4 over 3x minus 3 into x squared equals minus 12y. So I'll just, can't see that really. So yep, I'm going to sub y equals 4 and 3x minus 3 into x squared equals minus 12y and I'll get x squared equals minus 12 times 4 over 3x minus 3. Expanding that I get minus 4, um, the minus 12 and the 3 that cancel, we get a 4 up here, we get negative 16x and then minus or negative 12 times negative 3 is positive 36. So I get x squared plus 16x minus 36 equals 0 if I take everything over to the left hand side and um, factorizing that we actually know that if you look back up here that one of your solutions is 2 so um, I'll just see what we get here so we've got um, actually I might just put this diagram up here so that we can refer to it okay so this is going to help us with the question okay so I'll just put this up here because what we're really trying to do is find the coordinates. We know what P is. We're trying to find out the coordinates of Q by doing this. So the factors of 36, um, positive 18 and negative 2 will work. So we get um, x squared plus 18x minus 2x minus 36. Yep, that works. So therefore x equals 2 or x equals negative 18. So my little estimate here of negative 5 or 6. This is obviously, you can see my line's not drawn straight. It actually should come all the way down here. So we know when x is 2, y is um, negative a third. So I'm just going to substitute x equals negative 18 into my equation up here, into y equals 4 on 3x minus 3. And that will give me my um, y value. So I get um, y equals 4 over 3 times negative 18 minus 3. And 3 goes into 18 6 times, so 4 times negative 6 is negative 24 minus 3. My y value is, sorry, negative 27. So therefore the coordinates of Q are negative 18, negative 27. Sorry, I'm coming off screen. Okay, so the coordinates up here of Q are negative 18, negative 27. Sorry, that's not drawn very well. Now I really can't see anything. One minute. So the coordinates of Q of this focal chord are negative 18, negative 27. So now the next part of the question is to find the length of the focal chord. So we just want the distance. So for the length of the focal chord, we just want the distance from those two points that we were looking at from negative 18, negative 27 to 2, comma negative 3 equals the length of the focal chord. So the distance from negative 18, negative 27 to the point 2, negative a third is the length of the focal chord. So I'm going to move all this other stuff away and we can just work this out now. So distance from two points would be the distance formula. So D equals the square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, which is the square root of, might do it this way, 2 minus negative 18 squared plus negative a third minus negative 27 squared. So you're obviously going to need a calculator here. So it's the square root of 20 squared plus 26 and two thirds squared. 
just going to have to work that out. out it's the square root of 10,000 over 9, which is 100 over 3, which is 33 and one third units. So therefore, the length of the focal cord is 33 and one third units. As 11.4 question 12 homework problems, the first question says show that the point negative 3, 3 lies on the parabola with equation x squared equals 4ay. You can, um, you can pause the video and attempt that. Um, when you're done, you can restart the video. Um, to show that a point lies on a parabola or on any um, other line or equation, you just substitute the point, which it has an x value and a y value, into that equation. I've just done that down here. So if x is negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9. And substituting the y value is 3 here. 3 times 3 is also 9. Left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And so therefore, negative 3, 3 lies on the line. For part B, it says find the equation of the line passing through P. Now, I'm assuming that this is the point P up here. And the focus F of the parabola. Now, you know that the parabola has equation x squared is equal to 3y. So what you're going to have to do to find out a little bit about the parabola, um, you need to work out what the focus of the parabola is. Now we know that x squared equals 3y. This is of the type x squared equals 4ay. And therefore this 4a must equal 3. Therefore a, the focal length, is 3 quarters. So our focal length is 3 quarters. Because we know it's concave up, we can sketch that first. We know that the vertex will be 0, 0. Okay, so this is the parabola x squared equals 3y. Um, vertex is 0, 0. Focal length is 3 quarters. Therefore, the coordinates of the focus are 0, 3 quarters. Okay? Um, if I wanted to, I could also put the directrix down here. And the directrix is A units down or 3 quarters units down. So the equation of the directrix will be Y equals negative 3 quarters. Now, the question says find the equation of the line passing through point P, which was that one up there, and the focus of the parabola. Now, you've got two points. You need to find the equation of the line passing through P and F, the focus. We've done this a few times now. You've got two points. You can use the point gradient formula, but first you have to work out the gradient of the line passing through 3, negative 3, and 0, 3 quarters. You might want to pause the video and do that. So the gradient of the line, I'm working out the gradient of the line between those two points. We'll do 3 quarters minus negative 3, so it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 over 0 minus 3. Now 3 quarters minus negative 3 is 3 and 3 quarters, and dividing that by negative 3, um, you can do it on your calculator or you can try and work it out. 3 and 3 quarters is 15 over 4. If you want to divide it by negative 3, you're actually timesing by the reciprocal of that. So times negative a third. Um, 3 goes into 15 5 times, so we get negative 5 on 4 is the gradient of the line. Now for the equation of the line passing through those two points, we'll go y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And we get, um, I'll use the point 0, 3 quarters. So we get y minus 3 quarters equals m is negative 5 on 4, x minus 0. So I've used the point 0, 3 quarters. And the gradient um, I'm using m is negative 5 on 4. And the point that I'm using is 0, 3 quarters. So that's what I'm using for my point gradient formula. So solving, um, just equating that, we get y minus 3 quarters equals negative 5 on 4x. We need to, um, what we might do, um, just won't be a minute. Okay, you can either write it in y equals mx plus b form. I'll do that now. So it's minus 5 on 4x plus 3 quarters. Or we could put it into, um, into um, general form by multiplying through by... Four. So getting rid of, um, so multiplying both the left hand and the right hand sides of the equation by 4. Look, at the moment I'm just going to keep it like, oh, I, I might, no, I'll just keep it like this. Okay, so that's um, the equation of the line passing through P. Actually, no, I will multiply both sides by 4 because I think the 
answer will want it in general form. So you're multiplying the left hand side by 4 and the right hand side which comprises of these two things by 4. So you'll get negative 5x plus 3. So writing that in general form, sorry, we've got 5x, bring that over, plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. So that's part B, the equation of the line passing through P. Now part C says find the coordinates, so back up here to the question. Part C, find the coordinates of R where the line PF meets the directrix. Okay, so looking at our diagram, here is the line PF. We have to continue it down to the directrix. Now we know that anywhere along the directrix, the Y value is negative 3 quarters. So this point R will be some X value and the y value will be negative 3 quarters. So if we just substitute um, y equals negative 3 quarters into the equation of the line, into the equation of the line, we will find the x value at this point. So into the equation of the line, um, you can put it into the general equation, 5x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. So substituting y equals negative 3 quarters, we get 5x plus 4 times negative 3 quarters minus 3 equals 0. 5x minus 3, because the 4s cancel, minus 3 minus 3 is 0. So 5x is 6, so x is 6 on 5. Obviously this diagram is not drawn to scale very well. That looks correct. I'm just double checking that. So therefore, the coordinates of R, sorry girls, I've come off the screen again. So just having a quick look at that. So the coordinates of R will be the X value, which will be 6 on 5, and the Y value is negative 3 quarters. Okay, well, um, I'm just checking that answer with the back of the book. And I've just double checked my work and I can't seem to find an error, but they're getting 3x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. So they're obviously getting a gradient of negative 3 quarters here. I've double checked this, uh, oh, and triple checked it, I think, um, 15 over 4. I can't see any errors here. So I believe that this is the correct solution, that that's the equation of the line. And having a look at this, I believe that this these are the coordinates of R. So they've got 2 and negative 3 quarters and 3x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. And um, when you go through it, if you do see an error in my working, please let me know tomorrow. But I've just had a look and I sorry, and I don't seem to see where the error might be. Okay. In 13, I'm not going to do it, but I'll just talk through it. You have to find the equation of the chord PQ where that's the point P and that's the point Q. So you just basically find the equation of a line between two points and you'll find the gradient and then use the point gradient formula. Um, now it does tell you that those points lie in the parabola. So if you did substitute, say for example, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing to show that they lie in the parabola, but you don't have to. It's telling you that they lie in the parabola. You can see that if x is 2, you get 4 there. And if y is 1, you get 4, so 4 equals 4. And if you substituted these values as well, if x is negative 1, you get 1 here. And if y is a quarter, you get 1 there. So those two points do lie on that parabola. But to find the equation of the chord, you're just finding the equation of the line between two points. You then have to show that PQ is not a focal chord. Now PQ, you might want to do a quick sketch and show where P and Q lie on the parabola. To show that it's not a focal chord, you need to work out the focus of this parabola. And what you want to do is substitute the x and the y value of the focus. So the focus will be 0 something. And by just quickly looking at it, x squared is 4ay. a is 1, so the focus will be 0, 1. You want to show that the point 0, 1 does not lie on the equation of the chord that you just worked out in part a. You do that by substitution. Part C is just fairly straightforward. You're just finding the equation of a circle with the center 2, 1 and radius 2 units. So that's just using x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And to show that that circle passes through the focus, you just substitute the focus, which is 0, 1, into the circle, equation of a circle, and it should satisfy that equation. Now, we're not going to do question 14 in this exercise because this is very much like the... Um, you can do it if you want, but this is very much like parametric equations of the parabola and we'll be covering things like that um, 
more than likely just straight after the exam, okay? But if you do want to do it to show that that point lies on the parabola, you just substitute those x and y values in here. To find the equation of the focal chord, you work out what your focus is here, and it would be 0a, and use that point q with the point 0a to work out the equation of that line, and to prove that the length of the lattice rectum is 4a, um, you do it the way we normally do it, just do a sketch, draw that line across for the lattice rectum. You don't know the x value, but you would know the, the value, the y value, and you can substitute that into the equation of the parabola to work out the endpoints of the lattice rectum, and then um, you can then work out the length of the lattice rectum from that. Okay, so that's the end of this homework video. Another video with exercise 11.5 will follow soon.